All right, so you want to start? Yeah, I'm gonna be as dry as fucking drywall today. Dry as drywall? Mm-hmm. Look at me. Don't I look just? I like the beanie though. It's Thanks. very cute. Thanks. I was contemplating wearing it, but then I was like, I know. Are we I was gonna like, be are we matchy, gonna matchy? Twin? Are we yeah. gonna be twins on there? Matchy, matchy. That's matchy why I didn't braid it. That's why I did and this I love, weird. I love those. Whatever that is. I love the twist. It'd be sweet to be. I've able never to done do it before. It all the way around, right? but I don't know. Um, welcome to Drinking Broets, brought to you by GhostBed.com. I'm going to be, yeah, uh, you're going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be too much for you, I think. It's okay. You're no, like, this is, listen, this is how we, we balance each other out. So we balance each other out. Sometimes, look, I've been, whew. We all have our moments. We, we all have our, our moments. Um, I just happen to be super fucking hungover. Right yes. Now. Because you're the best I, ever. I just go hard in the paint sometimes. You just, you just party, man. I just like to have fun. And sometimes I you just. You are the most fun. <laughs> yeah, the most. Do you like our dance moves at the end? Okay. Do you remember the, when I lifted you up? Oh my gosh. You're yes. welcome. <laughs> oh my God. I like that. I, first of all, I have to say is um, for all the people who've watched the instagram story of your dance with the fucking legs broken legs how everyone's asking how you did did that number one and number two i think that might be my favorite dance move that you've ever done it just it's off the cuff you know what i mean i don't even know where it comes from oh it's great it was a like broken bones dance right yeah like i had broken you bones like in a my fucking skeleton yeah like i had no bones in my legs did you like Doing that a dance yeah it was so that's gonna be my sig move now <laughs> um and then i'll just come over and pick you up which yeah. was surpri- not surprisingly easy but very easy oh well that's good it, it's not surprising obviously <laughs> but you know I'm you're dense. very muscular I'm pretty so dense. I, yeah, yeah so i, I thought mean, you were gonna be like i'm like a, 155 really yeah but you're tall too yeah do you know what i mean I, so well, my muscle is a little bit more you know i yeah. guess apparently dense or whatever so you're else. like a strong gal you know and so i thought <laughs> apparently you're a very I was strong like, gal. okay felt very proud of myself i like that sure. danny and i played laurel and hardy on the fucking piano <laughs> yesterday laurel and hardy when you came back it was like laurel and hardy bitch, bitch. yeah i was so proud of myself my like for remembering that that's my favorite yeah that was great your friends are awesome i thank like them you. all a lot thank you but i'm glad it worked out like i was hoping to give you a little bit of a surprise like i haven't had a surprise birthday party since i was 13 oh my god so that was like it was really It awesome. wasn't like anything big, you know what I mean? But, well, I'm going to say this, and even the girls said this, where they were like, tell Tiffany, like, hats off, because it was like late notice. Yeah, it was super late notice. And school night. Yeah. So like to have them all, and have them all sitting there on, on time, like everyone is always late to oh, everything, well, like I, with kids and shit, you know what I mean? I told them kind of 6.30. And that was you, that was good planning on your part. I told them we'd be there at 7. That you know was what I mean? good planning on you your just part. Know. Uh, well, kudos to them, though, because they made that happen. And they all brought their husbands, which I guess apparently, like, some of their husbands never go out. Never go out. <laughs> and you have to get a babysitter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, well. When you all have kids, it's like. And I didn't think about that either. So when she said, but we hey, go out, like, we're no. all going to get sitters. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. was like, oh, OK. Dang. Yeah. But that was cool. That's the thing. And then happy like, for you guys. Yeah. To have your friends. It there. was really cool. And, like, again, we were talking that Ross doesn't really get a birthday. Because mm-hmm. it's like, our yeah. birthdays are together, mine's first. As you can see, everyone's my friend. And so he's always <laughs> like, all right, I guess we'll go to dinner. So it was really cool that it was on his actual birthday. Yeah. And it was like all his friends too. And and he got to hang out with them. Yeah. Good job, girlfriend. That was I'm really, happy. really nice. It made nice. me happy for you guys. Your like, face I was when there. I walked in <laughs> was, was so the best. Because it you were like. It makes me happy to see <laughs> other people happy. Yeah. And when I saw you and you were like. You like what to fix your hair and you're all happy? Well, because I was I really at Dan con- and I was like, I'm so happy for them. And he was like, Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. And I was like, I'm just so happy that they're happy. Like it was just, it was very um, weird at first because I was just like, Oh, what is I this? think that's her. But she's at a huge group of people yeah. and starting to recognize people. Like, oh it was my god, really these fun. are my friends. <laughs> it was fun. Well, you guys will hear this much later. Oh this, yeah, this yeah. one's gonna air a little bit later. Well, you know, they don't know when. Well, I guess they know when Ross's birthday is. They but anyway, we're yeah. doing we're doing a mm. a what a sexy, sexy time. time questions that you guys sent in right or yeah. topics that you guys sent in and i'm sorry but you guys are dirty fucks i love it it's all about sex i love it give it to me look but that's the thing that i feel good that people 
like feel comfortable uh, sending that in to us because they know that we will just give it straight and Same. have no problem talking about literally anything. So it feels good. Yeah. But they're like, hey, tell me about this. You know, what I like is that you actually fulfilled. I think it was on episode one. Mm-hmm. When you were talking or like, which it was one of the beginning ones where you're talking about butt plugs. Yeah, I think it was the first. I want to say I it was the it was. first episode. And so, of course, we've had we've had this talk before. You like, finally got. Got one. Your butt plug. Got my butt plug. So what? The boys were sent. So here's what's funny. The guys were sent mail and we were sent mail. Yeah. Um, and our was mail like cooking was cooking stuff, yeah. which was like really cool. But then the guys get like. <laughs> it was way too dolls. perfect. Yeah. Butt plugs. Three different size butt plugs. Yeah, which I have one in my purse now, too. Yeah, you got the medium one. So I got one. the medium one. Look, I think it's do I, to does, try. It, does it look like I have a medium butthole? Is that why I got it? I mean, I think it was like, because I saw the smaller one, and I was like, what's Ross that? I was like, what's one. that going to do? <laughs> do you know what I mean? And yeah. then there's the bigger one that's like, oh, that's a bit that's much. A lot, a lot. So the medium one's like, I like it. I can handle I like it. it. Yeah. I can handle it. Oh, Ross tossed you the medium one. Yeah. Well, what you whatever size I don't know what size it was. He felt like you he knew what you. One. He felt like he knew what you were into. Shiny red heart. I love it on the end. But yeah, they were given around. like underwear with holes in it for your booty, and it was funny. Oh, it that, was very that classic. Was, yeah, the so, mail that we each get, right? Well, I know that in your guys's like drinking last night, he joked about like, oh, we're gonna use the butt, yeah, we're plug, use the tonight. butt plug tonight. No, that's oh, not okay. the time. That's not the time to use it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was so. I, said, I didn't mean to pry, but I was like, did, so did it happen? Did, did yeah. you? How'd it work? No, I mean, it was a good night all around. Good. Um, had fun, kept it like classy. I like uh, it. Drink wise, yeah. kept it um, conservative. You did. And then um, had a good night at good. home. Good, 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 good. But um, I think the butt plug at that point would have been a yeah. bit. It would have been a longer situation than I was ready for. Do you know what I mean? I needed to like do it's it. It's like quick. And then go to bed. Yeah. Um, like, listen, I'm tired. Listen, I'm tired. It was more like, it's your birthday, so I'm going to, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, so it wasn't like, happy birthday. This is your gift. This is your gift. This and good night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> so it wasn't, I just feel like that's going to be a whole situation. Yeah. Look, stuff like that takes time, right? Oh, but yeah. you have to be ready to invest the time Thank in you. it. You ha- yeah, I agree. You had to be emotionally Last night invested. Was not the night. <laughs> it was like, holy shit, I've got to get to bed. But yeah. yeah. Well, we got um, hit up when we were talking about micro penises on, I don't even know what episode That's it was, right. like 19, like Hot Guy Starfish or something. I think it was Starfish, yeah, because we were like. And uh, we talked about micro penises for a quick second. Just a second. We just and touched on it for a second. So one of the girls was like, um, hit us up, and she goes, You guys need to look up. Tom Hardy's penis. If you speaking of micro penis, and right. I was like, "Excuse me." So I looked up this list, right? And this list was done. Um, I gotta find like who's the company that did this. It's called Mr. Man's, Beautiful. and they made like a small penis list and a big penis list. And they literally watched eight thousand full frontal scenes. Like, right? Of oh men. Oh, God. Okay. Before compiling a list okay. of their penis sizes. So for smallest, for some of the smallest penis sizes apparently in Hollywood, the guys on the list are Jude Law. Really? Dennis Hopper. Okay. Kevin Heffernan. Which I okay. don't know who that is. Me neither. Terrence Howard. Really? Leonardo DiCaprio. No way. I don't believe that. What full frontal did he do? It has, says it right here. He did because they one don't in 1995 use, for Total Eclipse. They don't always use their real penises. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy did, for sure. And that is a witch's finger. Jeffrey Rush. Okay. I don't know who that is. And apparently Shia Shia. LaBeouf oh, no. or something. He Apparently, really strikes me as a guy that has a big dick, though. A big dong? Oh, like Does his energy. When you talk about big dick energy, <laughs> you, he you has it, right? Like confident, just in your face. Like he seems like he does. Yeah. No shit. So then they did the biggest list. Okay. Robert De Niro. Really? I guess that makes sense. Talk about big dick energy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, What? Ewan McGregor? 
Mm-hmm. Interesting one. Shorter guy. Liam Neeson. Which oh, I love that. Look, he's like, like him. six nine, dude. Like he is he? Yeah, he's is like he really a big fucking tall. I don't know if he's that tall, but he's a big <laughs> okay, yeah. guy, right? Colin Farrell. <gasps> mm-hmm. And apparently Good for him. Ben Affleck. Yeah. Well, have you seen Gone Girl? No. He did the full frontal. But that's in the what shower. they said. Gone yeah. Girl. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, he's packing. For so sure. it says here that Mr. Man, who's the article who did it, I guess, loves all shapes and sizes when it comes to penises. And as these men have no trouble in their dating department, so it shows that size really doesn't matter. Now, here's my thing with it, though. Right. Yeah. Are these guys like I've never seen any of these movies and I'm not going to go through 8000 no, movies no, to no. watch these full frontal scenes. No. Are they like hard? Are they soft? Yeah. Like, so. Um, Tom Hardy is soft. Okay. To, but to the point where, I mean, you can't even see it. I know, but I feel like you can't judge a soft dick, though. For sure. Do you know and how I many times like, I initially looked at soft I dicks? I agree with you. And I went, oh, baby ain't packing with much. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Cold. Uh, what the fuck? And then the minute that it's like, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. That's true. It's, I'm like, cool, we got a grower, not a shower. And I'm totally fine with that. I don't, who, who cares about a soft dick? penis yeah what do you what like what good use is it yeah exactly you know what i you mean you never want to like, look at just straight look at it anyways no you're not sitting there like the oh, only penis that I, that I like is a hard one <laughs> right the only the penis ho- that you need is a yeah. hard, like, that's a the hard only important one. part of it right so otherwise me, you're just trying to not look at it basically if it's yeah. not hard you're like oh sorry like yeah just i'll wait <laughs> hello hello what's, what's, why is it not always hard uh, uh, um you know who, curious, though. do you know who david spade is yeah okay apparently there's some that aren't in movies sure. and don't have full frontal but apparently he has a gigantic dog get yeah <laughs> every time i see a baguette now you're gonna think i'm of, gonna think of woo, fucking david yeah. spade's junk yeah because he just gets like you wonder these these guys sometimes that pull really hot chicks and you're yeah. like okay like he's funny but yeah sure i don't, also yeah. packing and that's the thing too is like so let me ask you this because i know that i think a bunch of porn stars were being asked the same question and their answers were all across the board which is funny because they're as porn as stars like, right so when we talk about dick size yeah, does yeah. it matter oh okay yeah yeah or you know what i mean and so like i i remember seeing this video and half the porn stars were like dick size is like utmost importance it does matter and other people were like nope just it's all how you use it and yeah you know like how you work together and everything and that's the thing too if you're lacking in a certain area yeah you can definitely make it up in tons of other areas the only thing that i find sometimes that like a big dick will give you is confidence and so if Mm -hmm. you can have that without Mm -hmm. it fuck yeah oh, I agree. you can do other stuff you can work it out you can like joke about it you mm-hmm. can like do you know what i mean just be yeah. super confident but i know i'm i'm sure that it's hard to be but like the sexiest thing right is confidence and knowing oh, what absolutely. to do to please the other person absolutely and that can be your penis it can be whatever yeah. right yeah so, if you're packing with excuse me the micro penis you know that's when just like you said, confidence and the sexiness can come out easily. Be like, listen, like I know I don't have much, but yeah. you just you find it in other a in other ways yeah. or um, what? Go to the gym, get super fucking not even ripped. Just that, but like I'm to I don't dildos know. or like look right? Could you put a, like a strap on on? Does penis pumps really work? Do like does what is a penis pump anyway? Does it just make your dick hard or is it supposed to make just, it bigger? They just supposed to make, make it bigger more blood and, go to your penis? yeah so it basically just like pumps it up but it's not necessarily like you can't really make your hard. penis it's more it's bigger bigger because it's filled with more blood flow right yeah have you ever seen the porn like when they pump like pussies up no and make them like fucking huge you haven't seen that no maybe you should look it up maybe i should look live that one on up. air because I'm we asking... do like to see your reaction to <laughs> Um, certain things <laughs> porn this, wise I, well I'm looking at penis enlargement surgery right now and they do have they have two basic surgeries yeah, they, have, they, they can lengthen one scary too and apparently the most common procedure is to cut the ligament that connects the penis to, to the pelvic bone oh that would creep me out if I was a dude 
And this allows a little but bit more of the shaft or something. Okay, but then, gosh, that's on average scary. you get less than an inch more. I wouldn't. That's not gonna matter, guys. No. Do you know what I mean? That's not gonna matter. Just work with what you got. You know, what the good Lord half gave an you. Inch. I mean, if it's gonna give you a couple, go for it. What but it half called? an inch, pussy um, plumper, pussy pump, pumped pussy or something. Pussy plumper. No pump because it's they use the like penis pump almost on plump pussy videos. Maybe plump pussy pump because they're putting the uh, pump, oh, pump on it. Okay, and like sucking all of the air to it, and it ends up being like oh ew. a huge oh my god <laughs> a huge it's supposed to be like a huge super sensitive vagina because it it's looks like it got stung like, by a bajillion bees. yes. And is like on the outside of their body, like huge. It is fucking cool, right? I'm trying to think. <laughs> of, that looks like the worst lip filler yeah. job yeah. ever. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's funny. And well, then you're like, when does that go down? down? Like, I that's what know. I would wonder. Yeah. Okay. So that's basically the idea behind the pumping your penis is that it like enlarges it, but oh. then it's, is it really doing what it's supposed to do? Is it going to feel the same for you? When does it go down? Huh. There's a whole other, there's a whole lot of stuff. Do girls want bigger pussy lips? Uh, no, but as far as in the world of porn. Like anything, just any, whatever. You need something. Yeah. That's not, you know, missionary, anal, whatever. Like there's, they just like they just, get, it's the, just whatever. you get to the end of the internet porn wise, right? And you go, all right, well, I've seen the inside of butts enough. Yeah. What else is there? Oh, okay. Because I didn't know like if that was a thing or not. I think it makes it very sensitive. Oh, so like okay. I think it makes like the entire like vagina mm-hmm. pussy. I'm getting pussy. better at it. Pussy. pussy. Um, you are. Like very sensitive. Okay. So like the whole thing is like, but uh, would I want to do it? No. Yeah. Seems fucking scary as shit. Well, because I just know as women, for the most part, like a lot of us are pretty. We're pretty sensitive. Like we're, you would we're need sensitive, to be. but we're also we like we are very judgmental of ourselves. We're like cautious with our downstairs. Yeah, would you want to look down there? Like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like you don't um, ever want to like stretch like stretch it out. Yeah. Or, like you would you worry about all that. Even like using vibrators or like it's not true, but like girls sometimes will be like if I use like a big dildo or something like is it, it going to stretch me out? Yeah. Yeah. I which read stuff not, like that, which is it's completely it's the same not thing true. As but, I mean, yeah. It, it, listen, it's supposed to go back. Like you, a whole entire human can come through it, and yeah. it goes exactly back to the way it was. So, mm-hmm. your uh, your little penis and dildo, it's, it's not gonna, not going to affect not going to cause any like for real, yeah. folks. Oh my god! Well, I just thought that was interesting to read that article because I, I was kind of like, oh, and this it's girl funny. was like, just you wait, you guys are gonna be like disappointed. I mean, I'm not a huge. Maybe I'll just disappoint everyone by saying this, but I'm not like a massive Tom Hardy fan. Like I think he's a good looking guy, but me neither. Fucking no, give I me some you. post Malone. Yeah. Up right? Here. Yeah. Um, right? One of the girls tagged me, um, I saw the picture of him with the horse kissing him. And what was old, this? He had a horse kissing him, like on the cheek, and he has a big old cute smile, and it's just the most like he's really loving, innocent picture. He is so and I just cute. I wrote on it like you were the most amazing human ever, and a bunch of people who even follow me liked it, and a couple drinking broettes co- like even tagged me in that picture. Yeah. And they said this is the one that you need up in your guys' studio, and that so would be cute. I, I think I'm gonna get it on a little in, like, canvas a frame. Like, oh, yo, who oh, should do that? I where it's do like that. our family. Yep. That's what I always want for the Post Malone pictures yeah. is like for you to have a couple like, oh, I'll is do that it like your, a family. Is that your brother? Are these your kids? Is that your kids? Oh, no. They're all Post Malone in like <laughs> yeah. different I like, think cheesy like that. frames. That would be cute. Let's do it. And I don't even care if he has a micro penis, that man. Gosh, that I wouldn't be, even care. It would, for his height. I mean, I don't believe it. There would it be really? I think so hard, hard to too, believe. But I'm just saying. But sometimes it happens. There are tall guys that just are not proportionate. Yeah, it does happen. It does happen. We got um, a question here. Let's do it. Let's we kind of talked about it yesterday. This is gross, by the way. Okay. So they wanted to talk. They wanted us to talk about this on the next sex podcast. Um, Could we please address schmegma? She said, my friend told me that her husband's rocking the turtleneck and she uses his dick cheese 
as lube for hand jobs. I told her that I thought schmegma meant he wasn't keeping his dick properly cleaned. And her response was, well, it's only really bad when he hasn't showered for a few days. Can you please set the record straight? Because I've only played with non-cheesy <laughs> penises. No, and look. I'm beginning to second guess my own knowledge. Girlfriend, what this the fuck? This is a tough fuck? one for me. Is it? Because this one's pretty straight. You know this is not a tough one. This is fucking It's disgusting. a tough one for me to talk about because all I want to say is, wash your damn dick, All bro. I want to say is, that's not a thing. Nobody <laughs> fucking does that. I don't know who you are or who your friend is. No. Uh, you can be nice about it. But um, I think the issue, the person asking the question for the friend, yeah. I think has the right idea of like, sure. hey, that doesn't sound right to me. Right? Mm-hmm. So the girl that's asking the question of like, is using schmegma a thing for the show? No. Yeah. It's not a thing. But is she saying she doesn't have experience with uncircumcised penises? Um, yeah, she, well, she was just, yeah, kind of, a little bit, I think she was saying in there. She that goes, she doesn't really know because she doesn't have, can you guys set the record Yeah, she didn't straight? know if this was like a normal thing, like dick chews was a normal thing, excuse me, for um, circum- or uncircumcised penises, because she's only played with non-cheesy circumcised Got it, okay, penises. so, um, yeah, so if you haven't seen an uncircumcised penis, mm-hmm. soft, hard, like you know, can't really tell the difference. Yeah, like I've once been with guys before with both, with and, both, and yeah. even honestly, even when it was soft, I guess I never really saw it as much soft. But I still didn't really notice much of a difference. Like I never you really don't. saw, I never really saw the full, a full on turtleneck. I just, and when it's hard, like I couldn't tell. Yeah, really. When it's soft, it is kind of like a turtleneck. Yeah, uh, like in its resting phase sure but probably for the most part you see it either semi-hard because you're hot no but like yeah you're, if you're getting to the point where you're gonna see a penis most of the, the time, time it's gonna be, be semi or hard right Correct. so you don't really see it in that state I but get, it's you know, really once it like i you think do notice more skin, skin but more skin but like i have been with uncircumcised guys that i was like oh that was it's like a little bit different but you don't really know why you're like no. oh that looks like but it's not like something that's like oh my god correct it's not you know no no it's just and a I little bit tell. more skin that moves around and apparently it feels for them a lot better i like it yeah you know i've liked it yeah so it's one of those things where i'm just like whatever but the thing is i looked it up right between like circumcised and uncircumcised and they were just saying you know keeping it clean that's huge. Like circumcision huge. makes it simpler to wash the penis. However, um, you can still keep your penis clean if you need to wash it regularly between or beneath the foreskin is what it says. Like this is what parents should teach you when you're a young kid though, yeah. right? <laughs> Make sure. So it's the or same. Or like at least your dad be like, hey son, let us let me teach you how to clean your dick. Yeah. So if this friend of yours is using, think about your own discharge, girlfriend. So if would you ever want to use that like, you know, your crusty week? Mm. Uh, I mean, girls get shmegma too. Lube. Apparently, in this article I was reading, absolutely. They said everyone like, has discharge. so guys get it, and then girls will sometimes get it. I guess between the um, the labias and stuff, like in the folds. Um, if you don't clean the yeah. folds of the vulva and around the clitoris, apparently, and then guys will get it in the foreskin or the head of the penis. But they said, like, it's a little bit is kind of normal because it's just a combination of, like, fatty oils, shedded skin, and moisture, like, sweat. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Um, but if you have enough to give a hand job, there, to me, I'm like, there's other, other issues. And look, if is you're it, into that, good for you. But I just want to let you know it's not fucking normal. It's not, and normal. It's not a thing. And I kind of feel like maybe her boyfriend... Right, because she's never been. I've told maybe, her it was normal. Maybe he told her this was normal for like Don't always believe what penises. guys tell you. No, tell that dude he needs to wash his willy whacker. Tell him to clean a it. What more? Tell him to clean it in the same way that you fucking hopefully keep your fucking vagina clean. Oh my god! Tell him to keep his fucking shit clean. What do you mean if he doesn't shower for a couple days, girl? Grow up. Yeah. We sh- we shower. Correct. As an adult, you shower at least once a day. Listen, Sometimes you'll go 
one day without showering, you're sitting on the couch, whatever it may be. But most of the time, grown ass adults fucking shower once a day. Correct. I I know too that um, sometimes like a baby wipe, you know, hey, a, like a little maintenance. There keep you up go. Works too. There you go. Um, Hygiene throughout the day, even if you got a little pretty extra down there. Sure. Like it's not that hard, you know. Yeah. Thank you for your question, though. Let's move on. <laughs> Gross. I know. I can't even eat my egg wrap now. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we, you know, I was thinking too is I know these girls have talked about circumcised and uncircumcised penises yeah. before. Um, I do know that um, for like a lot of them in like this, you know, the whole group chat thing that they were talking about, they were, some girls have never been with an uh, uncircumcised guy before. Yeah. And I've only some been of them with have one. like a very bad stigma with mm-hmm. it. And, like, others are like, this is the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and a couple of them were like, just don't judge one by, like, just don't judge them all from one bad experience. Just, like, guys with circumcised dicks also don't take take care of themselves For sure. Or have issues. Mm -hmm. Don't always just kind of judge them all by one really bad experience. They're all um, very different. I've read like as our vaginas, correct. And I've read a lot about it because I was really curious, like why and what's the difference. And I know that kind of is like up to the parents, right? Yeah. I mean, like initially, it's like a religion thing. Yeah. But for the most part, now, like, um, if you have your baby in a hospital, mm-hmm. they will most of the time be like, "We're taking them to to get circumcised," and you have to opt out of it so okay. like do you know what i mean mm-hmm. now whereas before it was like very much something that you would choose to do mm-hmm. but it happens right there like at birth or whatever or re- in religious whatever in the jewish faith or whatever they do it eight days after i think oh. at the brisk okay and it's just like Shnoop. yeah Meh. i heard it's worse like i know guys that i don't know personally but i read about it guys who have been uncircumcised their whole life Right. Mm-hmm. And of course, after having sex, like you get used to a certain feeling. Yeah. And then they decided because of society oh, like norms, right? Circumcised. That they just, they felt uncomfortable with it or they got like made fun of or they just weren't confident with it. Or and, girls couldn't fucking or, handle uh, it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Is they end up getting circumcised. And like, I've read like blogs on this and stuff, like just random guys and everyone saying, for the most part, every guy saying that it's, it was drastically different. It, yeah, and so, like with the feeling of having sex, mm-hmm. and apparently it felt a little bit more numb for them. Like they didn't get as as much feeling as they did before because they can compare. Yeah. And a lot of them wish that they never had done it, but you can, obviously you can't reverse it. No, you know what I mean, can you imagine no. trying to super glue foreskin? Oh my gosh! Well, <laughs> I'm what's sure his some name? people have Bobbit. Who? Uh, who was the girl that cut off her husband's penis? Oh. I don't know. Lorena Bobbitt? Oh. You don't remember that mm. whole story? Mm-mm. Lorena Bobbitt? Mm-mm. It's on Amazon. You need to watch it now. So it was a big story in the 90s. The wife that got mad and cut off her husband's penis and threw it in a fucking field. And he had to, he went to the hospital and they had detectives out in this fucking field looking for his penis. And they found it in time, in the nick of time to sew it back <laughs> on. Good Do you know what there. I mean? Yeah. You don't know about the bobbits? They really sewed it back on? And he's, he did porn, too, after that. No. Oh, yeah, well, because of course everyone he had wa- to. Yeah, because everyone wanted to see it, right? I'm sure, sure Vivid, the, the dirt bag at Vivid, called him up and was like, hey, bro, we can get top dollar. This, lo- this lady looks like she would cut off a dick. You know? Yeah, I guess it was maybe... It was wow. a big story when I was, like, younger, and now people use it all the time of, like, you're going to, you know, Lorena Bobbitt his ass, right? So apparently he was, like, so she abusive. Okay, They're still so trying alleged- to figure he allegedly out. Yeah. raped her, beaten her, and, oh, she sodomized by her husband. So she cut off his penis with a knife while he was asleep in bed. He says that's not true, but, hey. And more and more. So what happened? Like, I, I mean, I can sit here and read, but I don't want to. What happened you to know, what? With the trial and everything, like, was she found guilty? Did she no. serve time? Mm-mm. Oh. Because it was back in the day. Because it was like self-defense kind of thing? Well, or? We, we back in the day very much believed, believed stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, there was not as much people, like, saying stuff like that to get out of 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like apparently now, like they've done more documentaries and more interviews, and you kind of see that she's crazy. Oh, is she? And um, you know, was you know either not getting apparently, and according to the friends and him and everything, it was like she just wasn't getting a lot of attention, and she was like he was going to divorce so, her, and she was going to be left with like no citizenship or money or anything, and she just look. He was probably a willing. jerk, to be honest. He was a drunk jerk, right? And he okay. came home and she said that he climbed on top of her and wanted to have sex or whatever. But look, I find like rape when you're married sometimes is hard to to prove, right? Of like mm-hmm. you are married and like they raped you, like really mm-hmm. raped you. Um, so it, a lot of different stuff has come out. Wow. But in order to cut a man's penis off, hold it in your hand, driving in the car like this, Throwing it in a field. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's something else she going his- on there, friend. Because, by the way, if you're so scared of him, don't you think that's going to make him a lot more fucking pissed? Right. And come after you and maybe try and kill you since he's beat you and raped you so much? That's like, automized. That's like go to the fucking police, dude. Because yeah. you're, you're scared of this guy. I mean, she literally took matters into her own hands. But we got another pun right there. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. That's You're welcome, fucking audience. Fucking nuts. Let me chop off your willy and just toss dude. it out the window. I'd like. I'd be interested to see your take on the documentary because you wow. weren't around for the time when everyone was like, "What like, an yeah. asshole!" She is like our hero, right? Oh, so wow, now, yeah. so I'm not. Society's changed a lot, and you will be able to see it as just like, who do you really believe? Without all the hype, going without all on. the hype mm-hmm. behind it, without all everyone telling you like what you should believe, because. I don't know what the right answer is, honestly. Like, either she's just a fiery woman that, like, fought back and good for her, mm-hmm. or she was fucking crazy and there was other things at play. Sure. Can't wow. Really tell. Nuts. I have never met anyone that doesn't know the Bobbit. Yeah, I don't. That would, I mean. You'd be a good juror. I would be a great juror. Right? Yeah. 1993? I mean, I, yeah. It wasn't something that my parents would have, like... <laughs> oh, for sure. They would, like, turn that off, right? No, no, no. Yeah. They would never have <laughs> no. any table talk about it. Yeah, They'd yeah, be like, yeah. let's say your prayers today, folks. No one chopped no. up penises. Yeah, nope, yeah. we're not listening to this. where I saw it then. I mean, 93. Oh, I was no, like, that's what it said. Yeah, I, I made headlines in 93. I shouldn't have been watching whatever I was watching. But it was a thing that, like, was just in the lexicon, sure. you know, like, that people... Because I was, like, what, eight, nine? Yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> what was I doing? <laughs> Jesus. I guess that's, that's the difference so between us, right? That's okay. Sorry, I mean, that's I was watching I, Lorena Bobbitt. At that's like what I 13. love, though. Yeah. We're so different. Well, li- we have more that we can get to, but we should probably get to some sponsors first, and then we can hit up, uh, talk about queefing. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. I used to feel, feel different about it. I feel a different way about it now. Yeah, we can get into that. And, mm-hmm. All know, right. Well, let's get to our... and everything else. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're going to talk about all this stuff. It'll be fun. My husband's gonna have to do it. Yeah, that's time. Yeah, this, we'll talk about. I'll it. tell you what he said last night too. Tell okay. me because I kind of was paying attention, but then not. Okay. So, um, so first, <laughs> sorry, Ghostbed, to get you right into all of our drama, but <laughs> this is great. Ghostbed dot like, com yeah. forward slash drinking bros. They love to be right in the middle of the sex and talk, right? And the sex right? talk is perfect because where else are you going to have sex? Hello. On a comfy bed. Oh my gosh, you're right. This is what I'm saying. This, the sex podcast is perfect for ghost bed. Ghost are you bed, welcome. Yeah. Here you are. You're welcome. Um, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Here's what they always have. I don't know what kind of deal they're having right now. Um, go to that page. They always have something, but... For military and first responder, they always, always, always have 15% off. Mm. And they will always have some kind of deal happening. Um, They also have this spinning wheel when you go to our landing page, Mm -hmm. where if you spin it, you can win some kind of like free pillow, $200 off a bundle, 20% off, whatever. So you can always get a deal. And on top of that, you can do a pay-as-you-go, no interest, month to month. So... You could be comfy, cozy, brand new, amazing sheets. You at least need to get the sheets. Maybe I should just get the sheets for you. No, I'll because you have the to. Like and the, they're so and that cooling pillow. Yeah, so amazing. You can be comfy, cozy in a new bed, new sheets, new pillows for like forty bucks. That's not bad at a all. month if that's what you want to do, or yeah. more, or whatever you want to pay. Mm-hmm. Um, so just do it. 
ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros on that page you're going to find all the deals that they're giving to us exclusively yeah drinking bros and drinking broettes and awesome reviews by you guys too very honest yeah and that's like reviews. our page um and they put everything up there mm-hmm. um as far as our community is concerned next up we have strikeforceenergy.com promo code Lady Boner, L A D Y B O N E R, Lady Boner, say it, Lady Boner, do it. You know what would give you a Lady Boner? What? Strike Force. Oh, duh. Duh, duh. duh. <laughs> Have you bumped up to a full packet yet? No, I can't. Can't do it. No. I'm still I really on half wish a I would have done that last night. I need to actually probably carry some in my purse. Yeah. In all honesty, because... Because um, you're getting away from the Red Bull. I did it last night. You did Which the, I regret this morning. Got it. You know what I mean? Because, like, heart's pounding at 6 a.m. Yeah, you know, Strike Force is and just a... I don't really like the taste of Red Bull as much anymore. No. I, and the sugar-free sucks, but, of course, it's better for you. For sure. So I just need to carry those in yeah. my pocket. Yeah, because you like the Strike Force. Yes. Yeah. And do you know how much money I can save doing that, too? Are you exactly. kidding? Exactly. And time and space. Just put, hey... Put it in your bag. Yeah, put it with a little bit, like, a seltzer water or something with vodka, and I'll... And you know, since it is liquid, you could put it in anything or you could literally just put it in your mouth and like do like a five hour energy shot type of thing. Mm -hmm. Only it will last longer. No carbs, no sugars, no gluten, but it tastes really good. It's not like the sugar free Red Bull that kind of tastes like watered down Skittles. Yeah. Um, It tastes good. Yeah. And it's a cleaner energy lasts longer. So go to strikeforceenergy.com promo code. Lady Boner and get twenty percent off. Twenty. Mm-hmm. That's a good deal. That's really a good. great deal. They love us. I know. I think they love they us love more them. than drinking bros. I mean, I don't blame them. So uh, who, doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? We are so full of ourselves. <laughs> Look, we've got to. Yeah, we've got to be. Yeah, who no, else is gonna pump us? We up? joke, guys. We joke. We joke. Um, we're in a we're in a studio full of guys. Like we yeah. have to talk ourselves yeah, up. Yeah, we do. No one else is going to do it all day long. Exactly, Just talking us down. We're like, yeah. no, we got to be our no. own hype I'm women. Not cooking you a sandwich. Cook- <laughs> yeah, I will never cooking you a sandwich. Hey, that just shows how well we are. That's how not, good that we are just shows <laughs> how smart I am. Anyways, all right, queefing, queefing. Mm-hmm. Let's just get right into it. So, um, first of all, I looked it up because um, I've been googling all the stuffs today. There's a ba- there's bad connotations with it, right? Okay, yeah, well, yeah. So it's an expulsion of air or gas from the vagina, right? Yeah. Um, it's just basically like a gas? vagina fart is what it says. It's a How vagina. Is it gas? This, this is what it says. Oh, it's crazy. a vaginal flatulence um, that um, can have causes that aren't due to underlying any underlying diseases at all. Like that's what it says. Okay, well, I've never queefed without okay yeah having said here's my thing okay. and that's what i read and i think this is a little weird because i've only queefed in certain like sexual positions right yeah or like a real like getting a lot of air air in, in it that's, yeah, that's really yeah, what yeah. happens right or yeah, it, like slips yeah. out and shoves back in yeah, yeah. so queefing is simply a release of air again that's trapped in your vagina which tends to occur during a workout who are these girls when you sit cross-legged or when there's something in place in your vagina. Is this? Ladies, help us out. Is it like you normal to have a new every day? Like a pussy fart when you sit cross leg? Like I've never had that happen before. Like, and by the way, so how does the air get trapped up there? Like, what do you You know what, what I mean? Doing? Like, is it is it like a Kegel thing? Right? Maybe. Like it, are it people doing like Kegels and you get like air trapped up there and there? And then you sit down and it's like blam, it happens? I don't know. I have never. Right? So when I read that, I thought that was a little bit strange, and I was curious if anyone else has ever experienced that. Of just, yeah, this would like be interesting. Like a queef without sex. Queef without sex or, like, having sex earlier that day or something and air's trapped in there. I don't know. Mine always comes out, like, there. Yeah. I Which have never. I wish. Believe me, I wish it came out later. <laughs> later. And I used to be very um, I just, embarrassed. Oh, my God. Me like too. So embarrassed I think it, it depends on who you're with. Like, if you're just, like, For sure. with a fuck boy or, like, you just met someone and you're trying yes. to make a good impression, like, that's embarrassing. But with my husband now, I laugh. Like, we laugh it off. Like, we laugh about it. It's hilarious. I won't even laugh sometimes because it's just, like, so. Or just natural. Natural. Sometimes and you as you get it. older, too, you're just like, uh. 
Yeah, sometimes you, know you ignore I mean? it if you don't hear it, but other times I'll just be like, <laughs> for sure. Like if you I'm a feel child. like you have to address it, like it was very loud or something. But I'm just like a mature. little bit, like. I'm immature. I'll laugh. I just, I go, I'm like, oh. Yeah, you are kind okay. of a dude in a lot of ways. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I, my pussy just farted. Yeah, you, just, you turn around to him. <laughs> like, Did you hear my pussy Sexy. Bark? Really sexy. Yeah, that's um, the, he loves me Look, so if much. the, he really does. <clears throat> yeah. Um, if it's, stri- you know, however it, however it's it It's natural. Happens, it's normal. It's whatever. It is totally natural. But again, like, I remember being, like, so mortified by it back yeah. in the day. Like, when you're first, like, having sex sure. or, like, whatever. Again, with people you don't really know that well and, like, your hoe phase, uh, as we've talked about. But, um, yeah, now I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, how immature I was to be um, embarrassed by it. Sure. I've heard of it before, but I never experienced it when, like, you know what I mean? And I didn't really so understand it what it was. finally happened, yeah. I was like, oh, oh, this is what. And, you know. And you're like, oh, okay, that's it's like, not a big deal. varying degrees of queefing, mm-hmm. right? You have this little, like, boops. And then you have some that were like, that was, that was so. Hey, that was like a so lot loud, of air, yeah. Uh, that the walls are shaking from the vibrations of it. You can't ignore it. Uh, <laughs> type of thing. But to me, i rather have a pussy fart than actually fart fart oh my god right that has thank god that scares me never happened where's wood let's not wood. wood it's never happened yet yeah <laughs> we all find we're fine every fucking wood it hasn't <laughs> happened yet but my god it's always like not that it's always in my mind but like there has been times where i'm like don't 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 Same. you know what i mean there's been times where the hubs is going downtown and I'm like, really? Now you want to come out and fart? Like, now you want to come and out with a little poop? also, like, you worry, like, in an I, orgasm because you're like, oh, everything just Am goes. I going to have fucking control over myself? That's a hard Can thing. You sometimes imagine? the butthole just goes, I'm going to do what I want. Can you During your orgasm. Imagine? Right? And there has been times where I feel like I've tensed up my booty hole, even during an orgasm, in fear for, for a fart sure. to slip out. For sure. But so those are like my two, I'm not even kidding. Or like there's been times Look, too. I know I think, you're not kidding. We all do it. But reverse. Like, I think it was like reverse cowgirl. Right? For sure. Where like your booty's face in his oh, face. Oh God. And I'm just, and you're just going up and down and I'm like, please don't fart. Please don't fart. Right? Yeah. Like how it's direct line to his face. Oh my God. And you're just sitting there and sometimes I wonder, can he see me clenching my butthole? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And you're like, just don't do anything to the Which butt. Is, don't do any don't yeah. put don't put your don't don't don't. Yeah. So I always though that to me, my, me personally, I rather queef all day long than than fart. Oh, for sure. You know? And because During you sex. know Yeah. Because you know what it is at this point. Sure. Like again, back in the day I was like mortified of anything. Yeah. But um now you're like, you yeah. know. It's fucking and totally yeah. normal. And there was a bad for a while too. For sure, it's very different. But there than was in like relationships. a bad connotation with it. Like, is your pussy like not tight? If you could get fucking oh, air in that, like there? there was like always, there was like that kind of stuff too. Of I like, never heard that. Yeah, that was a thing. Um, I think maybe in for a second, or in my mind, or in people's minds, or whatever. Like, it's not real. Obviously, it's almost the opposite. But you know, Here's before a- you understand what things are, you think all different kinds of things. Yeah. Here's the thing, too, about vaginas and that I was reading about a turned on woman. Right. Who is like getting wet. Like when you're turned on, your body starts to react to it. Right. Yeah. It starts going cool. Like you're going to feel more in your vagina. You have more feeling sensation down there. You're going to get more wet. We're going to lubricate you because it's we're priming lubricate you for sex. You and and the, it grows. Yeah. The inside of your vagina, a like a couple different, what, a couple inches. Right. To prepare for mm-hmm. having sex. Yeah. Because if so, you just like anyone that's put a tampon on knows like, oh, God. dang, if you aren't fucking ready for it, it literally hurts. nothing can fit up there. Well, it hurts. Yeah. Like when you're not ready and yeah. when you're dry as a desert and you're not that turned on. And like, guys, it's so important to turn on your ladies. And listen, if you don't, if you want to skip over that step, you're most likely not going to have sex or you're really going to hurt the person that you're having sex with. Well, the girl's not really going to be super into it. Into it. Um, unless like 
you know, it's some kind of you did other kind of foreplay where like you haven't had sex before and she's really fucking into it or whatever. And like that can happen from just kissing or whatever. Sure. Very rare. I know some people just like slap on the lube sometimes, which I like totally can get. But to me, it's always the sensation is 10 times more when I'm really turned on. Yeah. Everything just feels better. So always do a little something. <clears throat> if yeah. she doesn't want you to. Short, she'll pull you on fun. up. She'll pull you on up there. Yeah. She'll but tell you. she'll tell you. But I th- for women especially, you just have because there's no like, you know, yeah. erection that you can see. You have to make sure that everything's sort of ready. Otherwise, it does really hurt. Yeah. And it like eventually gets better and you're fine. But it's way better if it's like already. Yeah. Prepared. Have you been ripped down there before? Like your. Um, What's the section between your between your butthole and your? I've had two kids vaginally, so okay. Yeah. Oh, so you've been ripped, but I'm saying by like a penis. Oh no, you haven't. No, have on you? your taint. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, have you like a micro tear? You have never had like a I, micro tear. I don't. Before? I don't know. Oh, well, because you'll feel it. Maybe you'll but, feel it like when you pee and you accidentally get a little oh, pee on it, and then you'll be yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that hurts. Like, and you, you know, you feel you see yeah. little because I've had, I've seen it before, either from a guy that was too big, mm-hmm. or if it wasn't lubed up enough, yeah. like yeah, or certain positions because that skin right there <clears throat> on your taint is super, super thin. Yeah, super, super thin. Yeah, and so apparently I heard that's like a major thing. That could happen sometimes for girls, you know, and just, yeah, I think even, I'm don't, sure it happens for guys too. For depending. sure. And I think you don't really, you're just kind of like, man, I am really sore and hurting, yeah. but I don't think you know if it's what, you know, sure, if it's like a what it is or whatever. Um, I was always just curious because I was like, because it happens like a few times where I like took a mirror. Oh, yeah. To look See, down there. That. Yeah. And be like, oh my God, that's like literally a tiny little Shoop. micro. Oof. Yeah. Heals very quickly, but it does. Yeah. But it was just one of those things. It's like a day of, sh- of you know, pain. Yeah. So that's why I was just curious if you've ever gotten one of those before. Um, I'm curious, too, uh, <laughs> when it comes to uh, hair downstairs. I know we talked about waxing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and some girls also think that, like, having a little bit of a bush or, like, a little bit of hair actually feels better for them during sex. And other girls prefer just to have like it totally clean um do you th- like i don't know about that one i've had them i've had it both ways has it test has it have you tested it out to be like is there's any difference i didn't i wouldn't say that i noticed like a huge difference yeah because you think about it right our anatomy and the way we're built you think to yourself okay well there's hair there for probably a reason definitely like just like on all of our bodies like fucking eyelashes we have yeah. eyelashes for a reason for a reason to keep shit out of our eyes but we just put stuff in our eyes anyway yeah and then we have hair down there to keep things like bacteria things from getting in there what, but yeah. at the same time like we we have such high sophisticated like sanit sanitizing cleaning uh rituals at this point mm-hmm. that it's like we can do things like that but i think like yeah it was there for a person in a cave yeah. to not have shit get into their like well i'm sure too maybe to protect it that's what i mean right so it's protecting it from like you know germs fucking bacteria what i just got a picture in my head of a dude with a micro penis and just a huge bush and just all you see is just bush, bush and that's it you um have find, you seen the hangover like, where you're you know like you go just fucking muff diving <laughs> where are you 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 you. have you seen the hangover (laughs) yeah yeah wait but that asian guy jumps out of the the trunk and he has a bush and literally like about that a button because every time we watch it i feel like it's on tv where and they put the underwear on it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. they they put which is amazing by the way yeah so that's why you gotta watch the movie that's i'm surprised he wasn't in the smallest penis list on this fucking right thing well then again it didn't really go out through the whole list i didn't pull it up Okay. I was just curious if you had like a preference. I know some people like a little bit of hair. Some people like the full on bush. Some people like it super like just completely clean. Some people like landing strips or whatever. I kind of do different things. Me too. Um, I don't love being completely waxed mm-hmm. all the way, totally, totally clean. Um, but I have done it. Me too. And I like may do it again. But I usually like to keep a little something like either a landing strip or mm-hmm. something just because 
I'm not 12. Yeah. No one's. I kind of, I kind of always wanted to shave an arrow. Just. Boop. Right? Just like, now you know where it is. Like, just as a joke. Like That's a good one. Like, what the fuck? Like, yep, that's an arrow pointing to my pussy with my pussy hairs. <laughs> Insert here. <laughs> I think that'd be funny if I really did that. But that would take a lot of work. And upkeep it. I'm just not motivated enough to do it. I mean, you could do it one time. It'll grow like oh, in a week or whatever yeah. from shaving. Can you imagine if someone got laser hair removal <sighs> in the shape of just a big arrow? That's a good idea. I something. don't think they do laser on vaginas yet. Yes, they do. They do? So, oh, uh, so yeah, everyone gets their, well, not vagina, but the bikini area. Bikini area, yeah. I, I, I think Tara actually gets her whole vagina. Just lasered lasered i think i don't think I don't they can do laser because they can't do like oh eyebrow like they can't do anything in very sensitive areas yet i think check it out yeah i'm gonna because i think they you can do like the bikini area right like around like the leg and very close up to it but i don't think you can do like a full-on laser yet i don't maybe they can um, some women get their panty line zipped, which is fine. But if you're going to do this, let's see. Um, this is a permanent hair removal technique for a completely bare vagina. It can grow back. Oh, that doesn't really help. It says how much does it cost to laser your vag? It's like a thousand oh. per session. Oh my God. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. It looks like, dude, this girl's getting her booty hole lays too. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Full, full Brazilian. What a People time to be alive. Getting laser hair removal on the vagina bikini area. Like, dude, girls did fucking video blogs, like vlogs oh, of this on fucking YouTube. Okay. They're posting it. Man, okay, you guys girl. really you guys really want those fucking Dang. <laughs> those deals, don't you? <laughs> I would just like I go back and forth so it seems like so permanent. Like yeah. I don't think I would yeah. want it. I wouldn't want like would a totally permanent do, bush or a permanent non. Do you know what correct. I mean? Like, I think I would definitely do the bikini area where I didn't have to worry, you know, like yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. thighs for sure. Like where for sure. I but get, that would be. I want to get my whole leg. Oh, I want to get armpit. Yeah. There's some oh, areas that I never ever want hair to grow back. My right? face, <laughs> my face, my That's, chin. Yeah. Yep, that would be great. my yeah underarms and legs all the way up. Correct. That would be amazing. Yeah, but as you can see. It's like a thousand dollars a session. There's like five different sessions or more than that sometimes. So yeah, that's a lot of money. We ain't Unless rich you bitches get yet. A deal with your, um, I don't know, wherever your skin place is. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of influencers nowadays who are partnering up with places like that who are getting a lot of it for free. I know Tara gets like a lot of shit for free because a lot sure. of people use her like go there. That's how KGB her- gets all of her work done. Good for her. good for her. Good for her. That's awesome. I mean, right? I would, I wouldn't mind. Hey, if you guys want to sponsor me for free Botox, <laughs> some laser hair removal on my vagina. But as great. you know, sometimes uh-huh. influencers take it too far. Oh, well. As far as trying to get, I mean, getting, expecting stuff for free. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen Because that. they. Not everyone, but I've seen, yeah. Oh yeah, not all of them. I have seen some people. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, slow down. Well. Um, okay, here's another one. Okay. STDs. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Um, like a permanent one, right? Like AIDS. Oh. Okay. Or herpes. Herpes. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, I've seen this where a you know a guy and a girl are talking, mm-hmm. hanging out. Mm-hmm. One of them has herpes, mm-hmm. and eventually, not all the time, which is sad. But eventually, you know, the person comes out and says, hey, just want to let you know. Right. Um, it, you know, the, sometimes the girl's like, hey, I've been raped. And the person gave me okay. herpes. Okay. And I live with this condition. I just want to let you know before, like, we get further, we get intimate. Mm-hmm. The guy might say the same thing. And I know that, like, people have brought it up in the private group before. Right? And just mm-hmm. asking, like, have any of you guys dealt with this before? And... Like, I'm just curious, like, your take on it, Mm -hmm. because I saw an overwhelming, like, hey, good on him for bringing that up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that is really hard to do. Mm -hmm. Um, He obviously really respects you, 
like that's what people should be doing but that's yeah, not yeah, always yeah. the case yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way like all these people in the thread were just all of a sudden going yeah my ex-husband had it or like my boyfriend has it now or i in fact have it mm-hmm. and like it's very um you can keep it on wraps like there's medication for it it's getting better and better like you can ha- you don't have to get it there's just safe ways to do it like it's not a deal breaker at least that's what a lot of people were saying yeah i don't think it is <clears throat> anymore like i was talking to ross about this because we were like I'm like, what is like even an STD or anything that's like that fucking bad anymore, that's right? What, yeah. That you take antibiotics, yeah. you, even fucking AIDS. You have a fucking yeah. cocktail for it. That's You're not I mean. gonna die from it anymore. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's, there's always everything now. like being careful, like with anything sex related, so, right? Um, but what people there was such like a, I think people were very uneducated about. Uh, herpes and genital herpes back in the day sure um and i think now uh most people have some form of it whether yes, you, that's what i've heard whether it's like oral oral or genital genital is a little bit more like it's different yeah um it's like a different strain but it's still like the same Listen, medication when i was the same try to think how old i was they made us do in like english class or something a fucking report on stds when we were younger Eesh. I know. At our Eesh. Christian high school. Oh, I think we were like in ninth grade or something. There you go. And mine was genital herpes. So as a ninth grader. And the pictures that they show oh you. Oh my God. Shit. The pictures. I was just like. That's worst, worst, worst case scenario. And that is, again, during an an outbreak. So I mean, yeah. you guys know and anyone knows that like if you have like a cold sore or something like this, like it's very rare and when that happens, you just take care of it and then it's done. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Or shingles. Because shingles uh, is a form of like that virus inside of you. Yeah. I had no idea. And you idea. take the same medication for that. Like the Valtrex or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Because they were talking about that yesterday. And yeah. I was like, oh, I had no idea. Yeah. We could be used for that too. But I was just curious because. And one more thing. Uh-huh. Why is fucking Valtrex so fucking hard to get? That's is all it? I'm going to say. Oh, I have no. They keep it in lock and key. You have to get like doctors, like prescription, blah, 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 blah. And it really is like, even if you get like a little cold sore, like if you take one of those, it's gone in two seconds. Is it? Yeah. And it's sort of like. Why, that. That's super easy. I've never had a cold sore, but I know like Chris and like people in his family, they yeah. get it. Yeah. It's like a, like a stress thing. It's a stress it's thing when, really when your adrenals and stuff are being attacked with cortisol or whatever. Sure. Um, genital, like I said, genital herpes is a little bit different. Yeah. It's a different strain and not everyone has that, but everyone really does have like some kind of form of it somewhere in their body, right? Yeah. Well, here's the thing too that I saw like in the thread is a lot of people were saying that so many more people have it than people realize. Yes. Like it's, it's like just more one people in, are talking about it. One and, in four, one in five. Yeah. I don't even know what it was, but it was just like, or one in 10. I don't even know what yeah, it yeah. is, but a lot of people have it yeah. supposedly. And a lot of people too were saying that you could be having sex with people who have it and you have no fucking clue and you're not going to get it. And you're not going to get they're not it. in like they don't have an phase out- or they don't have an outbreak mm-hmm. or I, I was reading all this stuff because yeah, I was yeah. so interested in it. And here's my question, right? I feel like to me, when you hear about AIDS, or you hear about herpes. Why does it seem like herpes has such a bad stigma compared to AIDS? Do you know what I'm saying? Like It when, used to. It, it used, used to. And I feel like it still kind of does a little bit. Because it was like, it was reports like that that you had to do. And the pictures that they would show us, which is like the worst case, most disgusting thing. And they say it will never go away. And there used to be no way to treat it. You would just have to like, you would have an outbreak and it would last oh for a very long time. Because there was no way to like just nip it in the bud and get rid of it. So How I think back in the day. last? I'm curious. I think I, if you do not treat them. Yeah. I think they just keep spreading. Are you serious? So, like, it used to be a really bad... I think it used to be a lot worse than it is now. If okay. you have money to treat it... And again, like, Valtrex is, like, $5. You just need to get a, a doctor so to approve it. So, in general, the first eb- ever, apparently, herpes outbreak tends to be the most severe. In some cases, it can take two to three weeks to heal completely. Oh, my God. And so, subsequently, I guess... Because you need to, like, dry it out. Sure. And, da, da, and the, you know, in certain areas, you can't fucking do that, I'm yeah. sure. Oh, that's got to be hard for downtown. Subsequent outbreaks are usually less severe and pass within a few days. I just was curious. And people... And so, there was girls asking, excuse me, too, in this group, hey, um, how can you have kids with it? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, or oh. is there going to be issues with kids oh, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. That um, I have. Because you can you can like can you pass it on to your kids? And there was ladies in there that I have heard who yeah. said I have it. Mm-hmm. And I like to me, I was just like, I commend you for your honesty. For like, sure, and I think it's like because these aren't things like people have to share with one another. For sure, you know, I mean, unless they're being like intimate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But they were saying like, no, uh, you get on the Valtrex or whatever, or like they get on some type of medication that's not going to affect I'm your sure child. Other ones too. And I guess they, I guess one lady, some doctor lady on there was saying that they put glue, not glue, but um, goo stuff like over the children's eyes when they Sometimes first when they first come out, so that it doesn't get on their eye. I don't know. I don't know. But apparently women were saying, like, I have it and no one. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. My husband yeah. doesn't have it and my kids don't either. Yeah. It didn't get passed down. Yeah. But I was just curious because it does seem like the stigma a little bit. And to me, after reading all that, it, and that's what I, that's one thing I love about the drinking broettes is. Because they're just so honest and open. So honest. They kind of take. All inclusive. Take the shittiness away. They just take the shittiness stuff. away from everything. Yeah. And that's kind of what I, you know, we hope to do too. We hope to do the drinking brats justice. Because to me, it's just like, guess what? This is like part of life. Yeah. Shit happens. Yeah. And we, it's shitty to think that that many people and that many people had it even back in the day. And it was so shameful. And here's so the like thing too. it's nice now that like people do talk about it more. And yeah. there is like, dude, modern medicine, like we're fucking good. I know. Like, and if you're going to shame someone for yeah. having it or think of them differently, like fuck you. That's in just my head. ignorance on their part. And they may have like not heard anything like this before of like, yeah. it's not that fucking bad anymore. Like, um, again, like if you are aware of your, like genital herpes i guess and you are able to like get it under control mm -hmm. quickly i don't think it lasts for two weeks i'm not sure I yeah but um i have sad, like a really good friend of mine that had it and she had it when we were like you know 20s and like you know again ho phase yeah when, and and at that time it was like so shitty mm -hmm. um I her. can only imagine you're young like you're young and and again like I said back in the day as you remember it was a lot worse where people were like oh my god well, like here's the thing too. I could never when you have a stigma like sentence. that right you have a stigma like that and you shame someone do you really think these people are now going to want to be open and honest with you like exactly. do you know what I'm saying and that's where an issue and then arises. people don't tell you and they don't tell and them then, and they fucking spread it and that is fucking just exactly awful so now I think it's more just like hey people are more educated with it and yeah. they're like hey I have this um, this is what I have to do to treat it. Mm -hmm. If we don't do this at this time, we're good. Or mm -hmm. if we use this kind of protection or really careful or whatever, like it will be fine. Sure. And uh, it's definitely still up to the person, the other person sure. who doesn't have it. Always. And we're, no one's shaming anyone. Like you can say yes or you can say no. Like, no, I'm not okay with not it. Okay like, with and it, that's cool. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can say like, yeah, I'm actually okay with this and going forward. That's, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that at all. I'm just saying if you were to sit there and be like, no, you fucking disgusting piece of shit, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, gross, yeah. like, you know what I mean, and go off and tell a bunch of people about it. That's where it's like, that's where that person goes, well, I thought I was doing this in a respectful way. You're right. And, and like, now you're making it to the point to where you're making it really hard to tell people right. now. Right. So. And I don't know, like, I didn't really get into it with my friend, like, what she would have to do. And, like, I know she did have boyfriends and stuff. And I'm sure she told them because that's just, like, how she is. But, you know, she has a kid now, a gorgeous fucking husband. Oh, well, she there you go. She lives in fucking Good. Tokyo. Like, yeah. she's great. It's fine. But it, I, I was, like I said, friends with her when it was a big stigma and it was yeah. so gross up until so I'm saying it turned into like, hey, there's ways to treat it. Everything has a fucking medication now. Everyone has some form of it. It's like an HPV kind of thing. You know, like, yeah. everyone has fucking HPV. Dude. Something. Is that somewhere crazy? Like... Everyone, even yeah. when you're like on your path and they're like, well, you have like the same amount that everyone has or whatever. And you're like, oh, OK, then why are we even like talking about it anymore? You know what I mean? Yeah. So apparently like guys are carrier like guys carry yeah. it. They don't really have they don't have um, symptoms, symptoms and it but, doesn't affect them at all. But girls get ovarian cancer from it. Is that Look, right? They're trying. Yeah. I'm, apparently. I mean, they're trying to figure out all different things that cause like ovarian cancer. I think it's forms of birth control myself like uh -huh. so many people being on it i think it's like you know there's all different kinds of the t shit that's in our fucking tampons like oh there's God. yeah i can all kinds of other there. factors that will cause ovarian cancer that we are doing now that we weren't doing back in the day when there wasn't as many mm -hmm. but 
I don't know what it is, right? Yeah. I mean, is it HPV? Maybe, yeah, right? Yeah. But I have no idea. Uh, speaking of birth control, yeah. have you what birth control have you been on before? I've been on the pill, and I've had the shot okay. before, but this was a very long time ago, uh-huh. and I... Um, how'd, that, how'd that shot work? I mean, it worked. I'm and it saying, was kind how'd of you cool. feel on it? I think I felt a little bit crazy. I can't remember if I didn't get periods on that one. I don't like any birth control that you don't get your period. Same. But um, I will say I know that there's a lot of girls out there who are like, this is great. I don't get my period. And I just say to them, that's, you might like that, but it's, it's natural. It's totally natural for us to get our period, right? Like, so and to where me, is that going? And why are you not? And yeah. are you worried about a blood clot in your fucking neck that's going to kill you? Like, I just think I'm not, I'm not opposed to like medication, right? Like mm-hmm. I take medication for all different kinds of stuff, uh-huh. like headache, fucking whatever, yeah. right? Um, I've been on different stuff, but I think there's when you're doing things like altering the natural things that your body does Mm -hmm. and you're already altering it with birth control where it's like you were supposed to get pregnant and it didn't happen right so you're already altering like natural things that your body will do so why not just like have a period Mm -hmm. right like I know it's shitty but it's gonna prevent so many other shitty things happening down the road and I know more people that have had complications from either IUDs or birth birth control where you do not have a period really? for months and years at a time. See, I, I know ha- IUDs are like that. IUDs are just um you do get your period but IUDs are very um invasive and they don't always um I know my my mom had issues with hers really? but then there's some people that love it and don't have any problems. Yeah. So I don't know. So I when I know. first joined the military um I Did like you I have mean, the shot before? Yeah, so yeah. I like my periods weren't irregular but I also just had like start my period like a couple of years before I even joined the military right like you know what I mean yeah. so by the time I would see the doctor they were like how old were you I'm like 18 like 20 years old they were like what what yeah and so of course I hadn't had it the entire time in basic training and like I think I didn't even have it I didn't have it for like a full year or more yeah so they were like oh this is not normal we want to put you on birth control if anything like even if you're not having sex but just to like actually sure. try maybe get you regular sure so and I understand that um, they wanted to give me the pill, but with my schedule and always being gone and out in the woods, I'm like, there's no way I could keep up with that every day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So they first put me on the, the Nuva ring, oh, shit. the ring, mm-hmm. and I did not like it. Uh, it, it I just, friends that, like, I did not it. like it yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. And I put it in and I was like spotting on it. And I just told them I, I just didn't feel like myself and I felt like I was going crazy um, the hormones were going nuts, and, I, and so and they're the like. The shittiest thing about birth control when you're not having sex too is like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, wh- yeah, why? Right? <laughs> what am I doing? Why? It's just a reminder that I'm not fucking having sex. And then every the day. thing is too is like, so they told me to take it out, so I did, and I bled for like four weeks straight almost, and I was like, is this normal? No, right? dude. <laughs> like, so then when I was with my one of my first, you know, boyfriends, I guess, like serious relationships, I just I wore the patch. Okay. So I did the patch. Yeah, I've, I've actually done that. Sorry, and it actually wasn't time. that bad. Um, mm-hmm. Hormones were okay, but I did gain a lot of weight on it. My, oh, okay. my, my cup size went from an A to a C, which obviously homeboy wasn't complaining. But I right. was really having a hard time yeah, like, yeah, yeah. with weight, my weight. And I never really did before. Like I wasn't eating and mm-hmm. drinking as much. So I was kind of like, hmm. And then we tried the shot. And then I just spot it for like a month. And I was like, I can't. And I felt psycho. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've always felt I don't feel like myself. Mm-hmm. I feel extremely emotional. Everything's bothering me. I feel like I'm PMSing like twenty four seven all the time. And I know you're supposed to give it just with everything. <clears throat> even like um, when I was on like antidepressants for a second too. Like you have to give it three months. Oh, to see. like get acclimated to it. So to me, I, I just never quit. made it past the three months of any birth control Same. because i was just like dude fuck this same because like, i did the pill like the low estrogen one like the progesterone and it's still like i didn't do and people, so finally i was like condoms i guess yeah or and then when i'm with like so you know when i'm with my husband pull and pray yeah so and i think like i'm not an expert or a doctor but if you if you think about people that have like all the infertility issues that more and more people have now mm. um 
we've been on birth control since we're fucking 16. Like yeah. there has to be some kind of connection to that, right? Mm-hmm. Of like, but then there's I'm some curious people, the long-term effects with that or even taking the plan B. Like, are we seeing the long-term effects now? We're like, That's, there's yeah. so many more people that are having infertility issues. Infertility issues. And like, I don't know if maybe I wasn't aware of it back in the day because I wasn't trying to have kids. Sure. But I don't and that's remember. What I, think too. I don't remember as many, like a lot of the friends that I have, like have to do some kind of infertility something. Same. And it, that's crazy to and have I feel that like back high then number with my parents. Every, people were getting dude. Pregnant it was like just crazy. like yeah. You know what I mean? Like my parents had a fucking accident, kid. Like, that's what, what I does mean. That fucking happen. Shit, my grandma had. 16 accident 16 kids, accident kids. kids. <laughs> they're great we love they're them awesome. but hey yeah but it you know what i mean yeah now, so it's like shit i i'm having a hard time just trying to have one but granted like i, I think right. our situation's a little different in some ways like you actually need to be together to have sex but yeah so uh, i think with i mean it sounds like with yours like you haven't been on birth control that much no and like your guys is, is like really just a, a time more than anything yeah, is like to time being it. able to hit that ovulation every fucking month yeah. like it's just really hard for you guys mm-hmm. and like and but i am curious though about the long-term effects of all it. these different kinds of ones and that if like ovarian cancer is linked to certain things because i think yes yeah yesterday at the dinner table they were talking about like the copper rod yeah the and copper, like all this other stuff too seven or something yeah. yeah and i was just like i me personally i was like i don't want that in my arm you know it's not in your arm where is it it's in your fucking uterus no there's no they put a rod in some people's arms sometimes they put like the implants or whatever but an iu the iud that one copper seven oh i haven't seen that goes one into your uterus okay so i know there's ones that are like kind of shaped like your ovaries a little bit that like goes in there mm-hmm. i guess but then i also know some girls who get like a rod um yeah i've, I've seen it in implant, their arm too and like an that implant. is um that is a like that releases hormones whereas like a copper seven iud mm-hmm. doesn't release any hormones and you still have a period it's just a like implant that mm-hmm. prevents pregnancy from catching so in some ways you know if i were to think back in the day i'm like i just don't want hormones like i don't want to fuck with my hormones yeah, I, w- no. I don't want to not have a period <clears throat> I was thinking about the copper seven, but my mom had issues with it. Oh, okay. Of like it, and then my friend did as well, where it's like super bleeding cramps, like it was either not put in right or it didn't um, work well with your body. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and my mom's had a hysterectomy and like ovarian cancer and everything. Wow. So it probably is just in my mind, but I'm sure. like, I can't fucking do that. Um, so for me, it was just like, I have a hard time messing with any bodily function that is meant to, uh, meant to happen, yeah. right? Um, well, that's where so it's, a, it's a hard one for <clears throat> me, for sure. I feel like this is where we can get into being like either getting a vasectomy or getting yeah. your tubes tied. Cause we were talking about this yesterday too, right? Yeah. And by the way, everything that I've heard, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I've also like looked up, right? And, um, <gasps> what what's wrong let me just check one okay it's like um okay so this let's see okay so what is better obviously like getting tubes tied or uh like getting a vasectomy and it says as mentioned getting your tubes tied is much more invasive than a vasectomy there are greater risk with getting your tubes tied there's a longer recovery time there's a higher cost even associated with getting your tubes tied so because of all these risks and i guess it names off even more um a vasectomy is actually a safer and better option and so i've heard that just like that right and i know actually a lot of guys in the military who have gotten them after like all their kids and i know some had really good experiences and i know some like i remember my flight chief when i was younger right i was like this young new troop we're all out in the woods and he just got his fucking vasectomy and of course he's walking around as if he's got like two melons between his legs but apparently they swelled up so much that oh it yeah, was it like went a- really bad oh shit i don't know if something got nicked or what but like I remember, or infection or he didn't like clean I, I don't know no, but I guess it was something on the docks or whatever it might be but he walks in and the, I'm not gonna ask how his fucking nuts are doing like sure. I'm just some little new airman yeah I, he scares the I, shit out of me yeah so all the guys in there are like hey sergeant how's your nuts feeling and he's like 
Imagine two fucking swollen bowling balls between your legs. And they were like, what the fuck? It's not. And he goes. And that he, well, is very rare, you guys. It's really very rare. rare. But I'm saying, like, this is what the guy is here, yeah, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and they're like, what does it feel like? He's like, you want to know what it feels like? And he's like. To the table. And we're all like, what? And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, of course, all these guys were scared shitless and never For sure. have a vasectomy in I'm their sure life. not. I'm sure not. You know, and I know another guy had, like, some blood vessel that I worked with. Some blood vessel nicked. And I guess it just was pooling into one testicle. Right. And that was also getting really swollen and red and filling up with blood. And I was just like, are you kidding me? So I think sometimes guys hear this and they get weary. But here's how I feel about it. If a woman chooses to do it just on her own because she doesn't want to ever have kids or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Godspeed. Good for you. Mm -hmm. If you are in a relationship and the guy is not going to get a vasectomy and you need to get your tubes tied Mm-mm. because he won't do it. You have done enough, my friend. Like you have done enough. I agree. Even having one fucking kid, that guy better fucking either take male birth control or fucking get that shit cut. And male birth control is a real thing. It's a now real too. thing. So go ahead. And I because guarantee girls, when you're, de- when you had kids and you don't want to have them anymore, yeah. you have done enough. I agree with that. So the thing that Ross said was like, he was like, well, but what if like in a couple of years, like you want to have a kid, another kid? You can reverse it. That seems weird, right? I had, there's a guy that I work with who's, um, he had two kids with his ex. He got remarried before, um, like when they were married, he, he made sure like, hey, hon, like you don't want to have any kids, do you? And she's like, no, absolutely not. Yeah. He got his vasectomy. I don't know how long they've been together, like 13 years. Like, she, I think she's close to her 40s. She decides she now wants kids. He got it reversed and they're going through fertility. Really? Treatments. Yeah. He got reversed. Apparently it's a thing. Apparently it's a thing. So but he like, did it because re- he was like, hey, I love you. Why not? Right. What a great guy. Mm-hmm. Um, Ross is like, he just here has heard so many horror stories. Well, that's what I'm saying. And that's the hard and part. And he's like, so they don't take, they don't work. And then fucking people get. It's not always the case. No, never. You get of tested. You're hear horror you stories keep about going everything. back in to get your like sperm tested. And what, what they hear it not taking is because it takes a couple times of like. So apparently once you get it, you have to like either jerk off a bunch after or oh. have sex a bunch after. So if your wife or you or whatever, if you don't do that, Empty it the tank. doesn't necessarily get. So a friend of mine that that happened was like she had just had a kid. So they're not fucking having sex. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it took like not a couple times, but like he definitely had to go back in and like get it. Because you go back and you get it tested, okay, to make sure it took yeah. right. So you're not going to be so left you start out there, blanks. In the, right? You're not left out there in the wind. Mm-hmm. Like, did it work or did it yeah. not? Like, you keep going back into the doctor, guys. Like, this is oh, fucking okay. Western medicine. Like, they don't fucking leave you just. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, out there. I know, the fuck, and that's the hardest worked. part. Is I think you hear like all these terrible all those stories things of like, hey, and guys love to say this. Like, it didn't work, man. I'm just like. Because they want to sound like they are just ha- swimmers are so strong. But no, you fucking have to keep going That's in funny. a couple times. A lot. Of, it's very common to have to go back in and like still be, uh, you know, fer- like shooting fertile sperm, whatever, yeah. however you say it. Yeah. And you have to just keep tweaking it until it fucking works. But it's not like you have to keep having the surgery, motherfuckers. Yeah. If Idiots. it was between like Chris and I, he would, I know he would do it hands down. But here's the thing too, is Definitely. why I know a lot of guys do want to do it is I, I mean, the cost, I'm sure number one, like I can only imagine the difference. I can look that up too. But it's the main reason why I know a lot of guys do it is because the downtime is much shorter with a vasectomy. Because they want to get to having sex. Downtime, you right? get a bunch of drugs, guys. And a, the good and stuff. And apparently it like, takes much, much longer. I think almost twice as long for a woman to recover, right? Oh and God. you can't have sex. Oh, I can only imagine how women yeah. had to do that because their husband wouldn't have a vasectomy. Get out. That's so fucked up. I feel. That's, but, that's guys. You know what's funny, too, is when... Um, I've said it before, but uh, nowadays with the, like opioid crisis or whatever if you have a child uh, if you're a woman that has a vaginal delivery mm-hmm. you get um motrin what motrin excuse me is all you get 
Um, That's fucking what we guys, call military candy. Like Air Force candy. They just hand it out. Like, mm-hmm. No Vicodin, no nothing, no other hard pain pills. Why? Because people have been getting addicted to opiates. I said and to the think- nurse, I said, do you think that I'm fucking having this kid so that I could get my fucking drugs? Yeah. You bitch. Like, like literally, I just waited nine months nine to months get my so opiates. I could get this fucking 30 Vicodin. That is, that is a very And guess what dedicated- they give... Person. Guess what they give uh, guys for their vasectomy? What? A little, just a little snip that they get. Downtime is one day. 60 Percocet. No way. Mm. <laughs> you and your painkillers. I love it. Oh, love painkillers. I but do not. at the same time, like, I need, like, you need them when you have oh fucking God. had a baby. And by the way, just even the way you feel after you're like, give I me a fucking bike it in. Like, give me something. I need to like calm the fuck down. Like, Dude, after both of my ACL surgeries, I was popping Percocet like crazy. Look, do they, they have are me, good they, for some things. They, I don't like them all the time. I mean, on a morphine drip. Fucking ooh, all day long, ooh, yes, right? Yes, like yes, they put, yes. a, I don't even know why they put a block in. Like it hurt like a son of a bitch. Sure. So I can only imagine, you know. Well, you'll see, girl. <sighs> you'll see. Give it's it not, to me. I'll take it. Hopefully, uh, by that time, they'll have loosened up a little bit. I had I no mean, idea. It was that God. crazy? Motrin. I go. A human head came out of my fucking <laughs> vagina, ripped like an fucking entire titches. I have stitches down child. there. Child. Like really? You've been ripped down there. Most of the my time, my mom has. Most of the time, you are like it's very oh, rare. Are you? It's very rare that a head will come out of your vagina and you don't. If you get a micro tear from a penis, you're gonna be fucking ripped to shreds. Um, but you just get stitched back up and then you get the extra husband stitch. That's why I've heard my mom was like, "Hey, you want to put an extra little stitchy poo down there?" Feels weird for a second, but you know it's good. It's worth it. <laughs> really yeah that's awesome yeah okay. so but it's gonna happen what they used yeah, to yeah, do yeah i can't wait for my vagina to get ripped <sighs> um they used to cut it but it's very very rare that <gasps> they do just so that it didn't just so that it doesn't rip oh. do you know my what i mean my girly bits are just like oh yeah and you're gonna poop too right now oh you're poop on the table really oh yeah that's a thing a 100%. thing 100 100 a thing did you have did ross watch did he i did, did not, you allow him to watch no so he had to stay uh, from the shoulder up. That's what I'm going to make Chris do. Mm-hmm. I know a couple of guys, like, uh, only one in our neighborhood where they're, like, super hippies. And they, like, watch the whole thing. Oh and God. she had the mirror and yeah. everything. And I go, fuck, no, fuck, no. Well, I'm going to tell you this. me, it's important to still look at me like a sexual being and especially when you're a mom it's really fucking hard to get that back sure so i didn't want anything like that in his mind at all so the thing is i work with all guys right so i hear stories from them all the time like and they tell me everything and there's been guys that are like i watch my wife give birth and i have never looked at her vagina the same right and i'm like i don't want chris and he's like i won't and i'm like no you will stay up near my head and this is my personal preference like i know everyone's different but i for just sure didn't and there want are him people that and there are guys that want to see it and they are it was amazing yeah but at the same time it must be so i've heard those horror stories and so to me i'm just like i don't want that like he's i don't want you to see me it'll make shit myself feel yeah it'll make you feel more comfortable it'll like you know it's still a fucking miracle you guys will both cry your eyes out you don't need to see it actually coming out to understand the miracle of what's happening right and i'm sure chris will be completely fine with not watching it when i was 11 um i think it was 11 or 12 when my little brother was about to be born oh my god i asked my mom if i can go in the delivery room and be there with her and she said absolutely because i was so curious sure right just wanted to be there and the minute she started being like 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 angry i was like oh get me out of here i busted through the double doors and i was like I'm not, I did your mom do natural like did she do an epidural you have no idea um, huh i have no idea i think she might have done some kind of drug natural and then might have went my into mom, like give me a fucking yeah. epidural like i'm not even sure right. i would have to ask her again my mom but, did natural and i'm like yeah You're fucking bad <sighs> bitch that i know some girls who've done natural i know and they do it and do it natural home births in a fucking tub with a what's it called when you have the lady there midwife the midwife yeah. yeah look i'm i'm down for a midwife situation i would love and a midwife. not necessarily a hospital but my god i would need some i would need something 
Oh my God. Something. I feel like give me something. Doesn't have to be an epidural necessarily, but something to relax yourself because it is a really intense, like scary thing. And you naturally like. Yeah. Tense up. I know every woman's different with this. Um, yeah. This is a definitely hot button issue and everyone is different. Oh, sure. Yeah, and, yeah. and to each their own. Like for me, I judge. Uh, give me I know. Drugs when i was talking with all my lady friends and they were all talking about birth right like one did get an epidural and she said that her she was in labor for 48 hours and was fucking miserable and the other one who didn't get an epidural and she just did it naturally like wham bam thank you ma'am within six hours like the whole thing right didn't i guess get one didn't get one yeah, yeah and yeah. i guess what she was trying to tell me and everyone's very different when it comes to this and everyone has very different experiences is and that I, you have to be able to feel it so in that's order what she to, said yeah so I, I get my that. girlfriend who hers was like six hours done all the way through she was like listen like at least for me she's like i knew it was my body's way of just telling me i had to push like i knew when to push i didn't have to tell them because my body was doing it i wasn't not like you know i like that and i mean so, it's true but my god i don't even know yeah i could handle it but it's true I because when like, you're numb it's like they have to tell you and you go like okay like oh see so yeah, yeah do I you mean, know what i mean experienced it so. yeah but i think in all honesty, I think part of me is going to try to do it natural. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go in with that Intention. in the forefront yeah, of yeah, my yeah. mind. But I'm also going to realize if it comes to a point where it's just so bad, I'm going to be like, stick it with me. So for like, me, stick me with it. Yeah. For me, it was like, I didn't, my biggest thing is I didn't want a C-section, no judgment, but I wanted to be able to yeah. at least vaginally deliver. And I know I that like but. for your first, pregnancy you know you can really like if you do it natural like you can really like tense up and not like your body will be like no i don't want it to happen you know what i mean if you and have then, an epidural and then there if you don't have one, oh okay um because you, you just cannot relax enough to mm. have it actually dilate and enough um because when your body's very scared it will no matter what the baby wants to do right mm -hmm. and so for a lot of like and hospitals more and more now will be like hey, this has been a really long time. We're going to need to do, you know, a C-section because yeah. it's just not happening, yeah. right? The baby needs to come out. It's not coming out. We got to do it. So I think for me, I was like, if I need an epidural to relax and deliver vaginally, then that's what I got to do. Sure. Because I know that I was just like so freaked out that I don't, I was like, I don't even know how I could do, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was like, I just want it to happen. But anyways that's so crazy what the hell i'll have to, well, and that's the we thing i'm so interested i know i'm so interested to hear more from people because i know people have you know yeah different and experiences so and honest in this um group that yeah. like talking about schmegma is fucking mm -hmm. dick cheese lube that should be on honey. the aisles at walmart honey a whole bottle of just dick cheese not right a there. thing like are you fucking kidding me folks not a thing <laughs> doesn't even sound like it would work oh my god that's might as well crazy. use sand i know sand sometimes we use as lube yeah sandpaper idiot. sounds great doesn't it oh my god okay so i'm excited about our uh bro of the okay the week this Who week we got? so we decided to nominate someone ourselves we meet you and me we talked about it yesterday. We did? Mm -hmm. I grayed out. Um, it's okay. So we have, like, you guys sending them in, but we also, from time to time, we're yes. just going to highlight just amazing people in the community that we love and that shows nothing but love and support. And Dot. Oh, Dot. Dot, this goes out to you. We love you. Dot. So Dot came to us on one of our pictures and says, hey, ladies, I'm a 67-year-old grandmother with eight grandbabies. I came across your podcast one day, so I've been watching it some. For the most part, I've enjoyed it. For the most part, and Dot, we understand, totally girl. understand. Even this, ep it's funny that we're doing on this episode oh, because she may have turned off already. Probably. We got potty mouse. We talk about stuff I like know. this. Sorry, Dot. But this is, I think, why I love her so much is because she keeps this giving us chance after chance. And she keeps watching. She goes, you both are super smart and really quick on your feet. So I'm sure you'll have really good success with all of it. She goes, good luck. And by the way, ladies, you both are so cute. Dot. And here's the thing. She DMs she us. She really, like, keeps me going. She comments on our pictures. And they're all very, like, loving, supportive. She's very like, honest. unconditional fan. Where, like, yep. we know that probably a lot of stuff that we say mm -hmm. is People not don't agree for with. her. Well, yeah. And Maybe. everyone has differences of opinion. And everyone's sure. not always going to be, like, on the same page with us. But there's something really cool about just, like, a really supportive lady 
being like, you know what? Yeah. I may not agree with everything, but, but I'm really proud of what you guys are yes. doing. And it feels very like motherly and we it just does. really love you, Dot. And she hit us up about or I think it was Oreen's episode. Mm-hmm. Like she literally watched it within like the hour that it dropped. She's on it. Not even. She's and on she, it. She was like, I really like her. Um, I love what she said about supporting women. Us women need to be more supportive of one another. I have three you know, uh, daughters, daughters, yeah. and that's and this is what I yeah. teach them, mm-hmm. and I'm like, this is so I love her, I and love her. you know, she's kind of like our adopted mom. Yeah. I feel like. so. I hope that she still is listening. We haven't scared her off. I agree. Um, and dot, <laughs> we're gonna be making mention to you every once in a while because you are really like the grandma of the show. Yeah, oh, G Ma Dot. I love you. G Dot. I love you, Dot. So that goes out that's to you. That's a good one. We'll do that from time to time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys keep sending your drinking brats in. You guys can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. Oh, my God. We're on everything. We're on everything, girl. At Drinking Bruts Podcast. You guys can find us on any of the social medias at Jesse Wiseman and Tiffany Hart. If you guys really like us, feel free to rate and review us on iTunes. And you almost wore your beanie today, too. I almost wore my beanie today. So I figured I would just let you guys know the little secret is out i'm now <laughs> going to be about to be transition into a small business owner no. <laughs> yeah and it's crazy yeah so when is that um gonna, it's i is it coming soon that's a good question okay it's launching yeah, no, in no. march i have some like products already so i have this really cute beanie right and we have a metal logo with the initials on it and it's called right american heart it's called Beat. american heart Yep, and uh, we got like cute little fleece jackets, like Teddy's coming out, phone yeah. cases, athletic wear. I'm doing guy stuff, girl stuff, kid stuff. It's Practice just all stuff. really just a bunch cute of uh, random and stuff. Like, yeah, we'll be wearing the stuff, and pretty it's, much anytime you ask us, like once something's like beanie or yeah. like the jackets, anytime that you're like, hey, that's cute, cute. we'll be like, go ahead, yeah, go to the um, website. But the thing, so yeah, it's it's happening really slowly which is probably a good thing yeah it's fine uh, you want to take your time with it it's, it's a lot more um responsibility sure um than i thought it would and be and you started it before this little podcast too i did so you know I've been we're doing both kind now of going and, yeah, yeah trying to figure it out it's yeah. a lot more money than i thought but i'm really sure. excited though because i've been wanting to do this for a little while yeah i designed like i've worked with businesses before in the past and i designed clothing with them and there's been you know moments where my stuff was taken advantage of you know for sure. like my and so my husband was like dude just do it yourself yeah and so i finally got the fucking gonads to do it and here i we love are. it and i love all the stuff and it's all super cute and you have great taste which people say anyway so it's kind of like stuff that you like that's kind of what it's gonna be that you're selling but here's so the thing like, too is i love feedback and i'll ask you guys you know like hey what do you guys like yeah. what do you guys want and i take the feedback all day long because i want to improve and get better for you all so if you guys have little like, hey, I would really like this top or, yeah. you know, this could be better. Tell me because I want to, f- I'll fix it. Yeah. I personally don't like feedback. If you have anything <laughs> bad to say, do not let me know. Yeah. True. I don't. And the thing is, but you too, really yeah. do. So and what, what we're going to do too is like um, with this whole company thing, like I'm trying to get a lot of it made in the US, which is what I like. And to be competitive too, like I'm having really good competitive pricing. Um, some stuff will be, have to be made overseas because that's just how it works if I want to be competitive with other brands. However, I always make sure that something's still done here in the States, whether it's like the, the logo accent is done here at a local mom and pop sure. shop that we support. T-shirts will be done in the States. And it's designed here. Final and here. It's, it's like designed here. You seed here by you. Like yeah. everything like goes through you mm-hmm. and it has to be up to a certain standard. Yeah. So. And I make sure too that anything when it comes to like China and the factories are all sedex you know certs and they have the bscis you know like everything's good i like oh i make gosh, sure of it like talking shop i know isn't I that mean, crazy but i this like, is what i mean though like i would love to make a lot of stuff in the united states for I'll sure and i think um but it's just as you as you grow i think more and more you'll be able to sure. do that but it is i mean the shit's fucking cute so for yeah. me it's like for right now i know a lot of probably, probably people don't really care about it but that's just one thing that's probably a little bit different is that's what i want to do because yeah. i'm a fucking well i'm mean, gonna love america let's just be real sure let's be real folks i fucking love america you love america the only problem is america is having problems loving america and um 
the China thing is just what it is. Yeah. So I am trying to put money back in our pockets too at the same time with it. So you guys will see it along the way. I just wanted to, it's not going to be every time. I just wanted to do it one thing to share with you guys because I'm excited. Yeah. Cool. And so, yeah, that's it. This is a fun this is a fun episode. Episode. We I really like have... talking about all these subjects. I know. And honestly, guys, we got these from you, like most of them. So, so keep, keep sending, sending them, them in. Like we we'll, all jinx. day long. Uh, you owe me double a jinx. You owe me double jinx. Fuck. fuck you. Me go pee pee. Perfect callback. Perfect. All right. Okay. Bye, we'll guys. See you soon. Bye. Me go pee pee. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on. Better things to do, yeah. Go buy some fucking shoes, yeah. You're irritating. Yeah.